Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Bolomau, located in Bolomau, Congress, Poland, in the Russian Empire, and involving elements of the Russian and German empires on the 31st of January, 1915. Bolomau was an extensive battle with heavy losses and no clear winner. However, it is most famous, and perhaps the most infamous, for being the first battle that some sort of poison gas was used. German General August von Mackensen had been continuing his push against the Russian army with some success. On the 31st of January, 1915, Mackensen and his German 9th Army attacked the Russian 2nd Army under Vladimir Smirnov at the Polish village of Bolomau. The purpose of the attack from Warsaw was to draw the Russian armies towards Warsaw and away from East Prussia, where German and Austrian armies were gathering in preparation for a surprise attack. The Germans had invented a new wet poison gas. This battle was their first test, and the artillery fired 18,000 gas shells. Yes, I said 18,000 gas shells. The German assault was brutal, but German command realized that the exilial bromide gas, which was a form of tear gas, was blown back at the Germans. It should be noted that bromide gas itself was not intended to be poisonous. Rather, the Germans were using it as a giant tear gas attack. Germans also didn't realize how much impact the wind would have, hence why they were caught off guard when it was blown back at them. In addition, they did not realize that the intensity of the cold weather of the area would also freeze the gas, rendering most of it ineffective. As the Germans withdrew, Russian General Vasily Gurko wanted to take advantage of the situation and ordered a large counterattack comprising of 11 divisions. Unfortunately for Gurko, German artillery slaughtered a Russian attack with ease. The gas caused very few casualties, but the fighting itself was very brutal with the Germans suffering 20,000 dead, wounded, and missing, and the Russians suffered double that with 40,000 dead, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War. Yeah.